Hey guys, welcome to the video and here today this one's going to be kind of like an easy laid back one where I'm just going to cover the future plans of the channel starting next week in 2021 and moving forward. There's not going to be a lot of visual stuff here. This is primarily going to be all audio. So if you have something to do and you just want to listen on your speakers, earbuds, headphones, whatever you can, you're not going to miss out on anything visually. Occasionally, every now and then I might just put up some random gameplay of some random games and stuff for those of you who are watching just to keep your eyeballs a little bit entertained. So let's start off with first uh, by me letting you know that I know it's been a while that I haven't put up a video almost two weeks. But as I have mentioned in pretty much all of these videos that I've done during like November and December, it's just been crazy hectic and busy regarding work and personal stuff. You know, we had to get ready to host family and friends. And as you know, this year has been definitely a little bit challenging. I am on vacation though right now. It started on the 24th and I will be on vacation until the 4th. Now on Tuesday, I'm going to release the first video of the year. I think that video will be the update here on what happened and what went down with all that drama regarding the uh, PS3 on the PS3 scene with developer Habib. I talk about that in this video here. So yeah, a couple of other things have happened since then. So I'll talk about that. Then in the video after that, I'm probably going to do an update on Team Executor, more information that has been released, and also probably a Switch tutorial next week or two, an update to this HEN 4.87 video, a quick one. This weekend, I'll probably do a very quick update to the KMZ GTA mods for PS3 because in the change log I mentioned a menu that I added and it turns out I forgot to add that menu so I'm gonna have to add it maybe add one or two little minor things and I'll update that this weekend and then on Monday, January 11th, Hacking Modding News and Info will return, that weekly segment that I normally would do. However, because of the lack of time, it's had to go on hiatus for a little bit. So on Monday the 11th, when episode 60 comes out, we are going to cover everything that we missed from basically the end of November and through all of December, covering all the different scenes from the 3DS, the Switch, PS3, PS4, PS5, the world of emulation, iOS jailbreaking, all of that stuff, plus bringing you maybe up to date on what's going on with the bounties and that situation because a couple of things have happened there. So yeah, a lot to cover. It's probably going to be about three or four parts. So part one of episode 60 will be on Monday the 11th. Part two will be that Tuesday and so on. So at least that's the plan unless something major comes out and then I have to do a video instead for that. But everything will just get pushed back by like a day or so. Anyway, that will return on Monday the 11th. And then also in January, I will begin my reviews. I talked about this before in a previous video a while back. I'll link that video down in the description. But just to summarize very quickly, I'm going to review homebrews and homebrew utilities, homebrew apps for the various different platforms, as well as maybe some software and some other apps for the PC, possibly Android, and even the occasional like piece of hardware that I purchased that's tech related, although that will be a little bit type of different review. But anyway, I'm going to review these homebrews and I'm going to do it in a format that a popular YouTuber who goes by the name of Doug DeMuro does them. He's a car enthusiast. He has millions of subscribers. I'm a car enthusiast, so I watch his videos from time to time and I like his format. I like how he covers all the stuff regarding the vehicles. And then at the end, he goes through these different categories and he rates each category. And then he rates the final total score against other similar vehicles. So that's what I'm going to do, but with homebrews, with software and with hardware. And then there's tutorials and that's going to continue. I have a list of a ton of tutorials that I want to do, like for the switch. That's a hot commodity right now. And I have at least like 12, 13 tutorial videos that I want to do for that. So I have them all jotted down. I'm going to start knocking those out here pretty quick, but also tutorials for the PS4, a couple for the PS3. I want to continue my retro arch series of tutorials. I already did that a while back, but those few tutorials that I did on RetroArch focus primarily on the ROMs themselves. This is going to focus on the front 
end of retro arch and i want to do things a little bit differently from what other people have done them on youtube because a lot of times i feel that they gloss over stuff or they just go over and ignore important details that i think you should know to enhance your experience with retro arch so you can get a better understanding of it not only that but we're also going to do maybe little secret stuff that people never cover i'm going to show you how to do your own themes regardless of what platform you're using retro arch on and things like that then we're going to cover open bore which is that emulator type deal for like old school beat-em-ups and homebrew beat-em-ups that are based on like old school games anyway there's a little mini series i want to do regarding that i've been wanting to do it for years so that's definitely going to happen here shortly within the first month or two of this year there's also tutorials that i know i told some of you out there maybe in the comments or in discord hey that's a good idea i'm going to do a tutorial on it maybe next week or the week after or whatever and i never got around to it i've jotted them down they're there just haven't had a chance to do them they will get done as well Plus, I'm going to be doing more tutorials on PC related stuff and maybe even Android or some other platforms here and there just to kind of like broaden the horizon of the channel. OK, guys, so that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I just wanted to share with you some of the core things that will be going down with the channel here in 2021. One other thing is that I will be setting up kind of like a Patreon thing. The page has already been set up. I did that like a month or two ago, but I didn't make it known because I didn't have time to put the content together as to what the members would be getting. So it's only going to be like a dollar or two, but what you're going to get for that dollar or two is going to be well beyond worth it. I want people to get a lot of value for their dollar and I want to make it so that it's a no brainer to join because of everything that you get in return for so little. But that won't happen till the end of January, more than likely not until February. So when that time comes, I'll do a video about it and make you guys aware and give you all the details then. So before I sign off, I just also want to express many thanks and my gratitude to everyone out there. Those of you who have subscribed, those of you who watch the channel, you watch the hacking modding news and info segments, the tutorials, those of you who were new this year to the channel and you subscribed, thank you. Those who have been loyal and who have been watching since before then, many, many thank yous. And just to everyone out there, all of you, I appreciate for helping to grow the channel. I appreciate that you enjoy the content that I bring you because at least according to the YouTube statistic, 94% of you guys enjoy the content on this channel. And I don't even know what to say to that. I just thank you. <laughs> and um, I don't think if I live to be a thousand years old, I can express that gratitude enough. Thanks guys. Be careful out there today. Be safe. Let's go into the new year. Let's hope it's better than this sucky one. And I will see you next week. Much love to everyone. Be careful, be safe, but have fun. We'll see you then, guys. Take care.